Hey, what's up guys? I uh, just wanted to share with you real quick uh, a couple of holsters that I've gotten. Uh, one new and one older, uh, both from the same company. But uh, I'm just really excited about this product and would like to share, um, you know, what I've found with you guys. So, if you look right over here, if you're familiar at all with Remora concealment and security products, then you will recognize this packaging. Uh, this here is the Series 2A. It is my wife's holster for her Smith & Wesson Bodyguard 380. And I have the 6 ART SS for my M&P 40 Compact. Uh, that is the Artemis Cut Sweat Shield. Uh, Artemis is just a combat cut. Uh, gives you more of a positive grip upon drawing your firearm. And the Sweat Shield is that little lip in the back that you see there. And this also has the new Remora Hide. It is a leather liner upgrade. Um, I really, really like it. It's a little bit thinner than the uh, standard liner. Um, just slightly heavier due to the leather, but nothing even noticeable. Um, I really, really like this holster. This one I just got uh, a couple weeks ago. And my wife, uh, like I said, she's had this for almost a year now, and she just loves it. Um, we got her this holster strictly uh, due to the fact that she no longer has to dress around her holster, if you know what I mean. Um, before, we had her a Galco Stinger. It's an outside-the-waistband leather holster. And... Uh, you know, eight or nine times out of ten, she would not be wearing uh, jeans and a belt. So that means eight or nine times out of ten, she would not be wearing her firearm. Um, so we found that to be a problem. So uh, upon doing a little bit of research and looking around at uh, YouTube reviews, we came across uh, quite a few. And I've heard of Remora in the past, but I've always shied away from it because I could, you know, never grasp the fact that a clipless holster would actually stay put. But we were willing to give it a try. We uh, watched uh, Shotgun Shanty's review on it and a few others, and they all concluded, you know, that it's a great holster. It stays put with the non-slip texture, and uh, for females, I mean you know, dresses, skirts, yoga style pants, uh, whatever, even jogging pants, anything with an elastic waistband or a drawstring or of course a belt with jeans is going to work. So, since we've purchased this for my wife, she constantly wears her uh, Bodyguard 380 now. I mean all the time. Lounging around the house, whatever, it doesn't matter. So, yeah, needless to say, I love Remora holsters just for that fact. It makes my family safer, in essence. So thank you, Remora and uh, Mr. Alan Bogdan and the whole team over there. You're all very courteous and uh, just outstanding customer service over there. Made in the USA, out of uh, Florida. I mean, just I can't say enough good things about these holsters. Uh, very inexpensive for high quality stuff. I mean, double stitching. Um, as I said, I got the leather upgrade in this one. You'd think it would be a soft leather. That's what I was kind of envisioning, but it's actually like a harder leather, kind of like a shoe leather. So real nice. I mean, hardly shows any wear from uh, holstering. This thing's going to stand the test of time, I can tell. And uh, after a while, the holster begins to take shape to your body, and it just fits so comfortably. Um, if you begin to lose the tackiness after a while, like we've had to clean this one a few times, uh, you just use Dawn dish soap, something that gets rid of, you know, um, the oiliness from your skin and the, you know, dirt builds up on it. So that removes it and gets it right back to its uh, brand new tacky feel again. So, yeah, like I said, you can wear this with any sort of attire. 
So that's the reason why I had to get one, just overall convenience. You know, you come home from work, you just want to throw on your pajamas and chill around the house. Well now, you know, I can put my firearm in there and put this baby in my pajama pants or whatever, just hanging out around the house. So, I mean, it's very versatile. Uh, I can't say enough good things about these holsters, guys. Great holster, but, you know, these clips are very visible, and I'm not saying I'd never wear that anymore, but you know what? Uh, most of the time I'm grabbing the remora because I'm running out the door or lounging around the house. It just gets way more use than any other holster, and it's the least I've spent on a holster. Um, my wife's, we picked up on sale. Uh, I think it was the, I forget what sale was going on, but um, I think it was like 20 bucks, maybe a little under 20 bucks with shipping and everything. So, I mean, they're regularly only $30 for their standard IWB. But I just cannot say enough good things about Remora. In fact, a lot of people think I'm a salesman for Remora. Um, as of late because if I hear anybody asking about what type of holster should I get, should I get a, uh, a crossbreed or a Galco or some sort of hybrid, I always direct them to Remora. I mean, I just love this product. Um, great people over there. Like I said, Mr. Alan Bogdan is the owner and he'll do everything he can to help you out. So, thanks for watching guys, and I strongly suggest you try out Remora if you have not already. You will not be disappointed. Thanks for watching. See you later.